Hey guys, hope you're having a good day. In today's video, I was wanting to cover some of the recent Asu Mirage gameplay and cutscenes that have come out in the last couple weeks, and do a breakdown and comparison to other games to share my thoughts on why I feel Asu Mirage is an uncinematic experience. Let's get into it. Sound design is one of the more important things for film, TV, and games. Good sound design can make what you see on screen feel real and have weight to it. I think this is shown best in AC1. The visuals are good for the time, but there's not much of a difference between notoriety and incognito visually, but it's the sound design that really changes the tone. Makes the gameplay become intense, that you are being chased in a city that is hostile for your character. Now comparing this with AC Mirage's gameplay, it feels optional to run away, and therefore there is not much difficulty to the gameplay, and takes away from the assassin fantasy. There is a clear difference in the intensity of these two games, and I feel this is mostly due to the great sound design in AC1 which immerses the player in this high-stakes chase where if they go too slow or mess up the parkour, they will be met by a host of soldiers. And in the early parts of AC1, when you have a low health bar, it can be devastating. While AC Mirage follows the more recent RPG AC installments, where it's easier to just kill everyone that has spotted you, meaning there is no intensity because you're a skilled warrior who simply mows down enemies. I feel this is exemplified in the sound design, where there is no fear built up, no feeling of dread of, I need to get out of here. I just find it crazy that they can downgrade so many aspects of what made Assassin's Creed great in the first place. And if AC Mirage is really returning to its roots, it should take this system and its execution, then enhance it instead of making it quite meaningless and a minor alert that you're in combat now. I'm not sure if I really want to get into the parkour. It looks the same as Eivor doing parkour. I like the extra beams that can get you from building to building. But still, overall, the parkour just looks slow. And for a character that is supposed to be so fast, the Animus can't keep up with his movements for multi-assassinations. It makes it look like he's teleporting. He sure doesn't look that like Speedy Gonzalez when it comes to his parkour. Especially <laughs> when he's being chased by soldiers, like, wanting to cut his head off or something. Yeah, <laughs> He's going pretty slow. I watched a video recently of someone comparing a cutscene of Leonardo and Ezio to the Mirage Bureau scene. The reason I feel this scene works is because of the use of different camera shots, leading to a more cinematic result. A close up of Ezio saying something important for the scene, then using a tool in filmmaking called blocking. So you know where the characters are in the room, and where they are moving to, while keeping them in the same frame. Us as the player are able to keep up with the geography of the room when these blocking shots are used. It keeps things moving, but instead of having characters stay in the same spot, it just makes it less one-dimensional and more cinematic that the characters are moving about, instead of just cutting from close up, close up, close up, close up, which just makes it quite boring. Film blocking is not only about where your actors stand, but it's also about directing your audience's eyes to where you want them to look. For this cutscene in AC2, they want us to follow Leonardo around the workshop since he knows where everything is and Ezio stands idle waiting to follow Leonardo. 
Comparing this to Mirage's cutscene, it uses very basic short frames, mostly keeping the conversation at mid to long shot, never going in for a close up, makes this conversation feel very unimportant and keeps us as a fly on the wall. This is usually done at the start of a scene, and then you start to creep in once a character exits and the real important conversation begins between characters. While our focus was on Alru, Fulav quietly scouted the city for where we could erect more bureaus. I have found dwellings in three districts that are most unassuming. Ebid and Rebecca have arrived from Alamut and set off to El Abyssia and Karch. I will make my way to Sharqia shortly. And I will join Rebecca in Karch, where corruption is as common as the arid air. See Abu Jafar about some things he's been working on, then come find us. While the music and cinematic frames of the AC2 cutscene keeps you engaged because it feels important the way it's being displayed. <sighs> it's you! Dio mio! You're alive! I is it true? They say you killed the Doge. I was trying to save him, Leonardo. But the truth matters little. I failed. And now I'm the most wanted man in Venezia. Well, perhaps you are in luck. It's Carnevale in Venezia. This is the time when everybody goes without a face. That's why I'm here. Do you have a mask I can wear? Of course, of course. Somewhere in here. Grazie, amico mio. And I have something for you. Oh, more of the Codex. Aha. This one's quite complex. Hmm. It's a new design, my friend. A mechanism for your wrist, but not a blade. In fact, it seems to be a kind of arma da fuoco, but as small as a hummingbird. Is that possible? I have no idea. Let's build it and find out. There's a lack of impact with the kills in Mirage. We'll use the Batman Arkham games as a template the new AC games could use. You feel the impact of Batman mostly from the sound design, but the camera also comes in closer. Not just to make it easier for the player to aim at the target, but to bring you right into the action and not leaving you on the sidelines. <laughs> This is something AC3 and Black Flag done quite well, along with a few other games in the Assassin's Creed series, where you're zoomed out and they bring you in closer for the finisher or for assassinations. I'm still hopeful this game can be a bit of fun, not filled with fetch quests, with an interesting setting for the player to explore and to be immersed in. This has been enough of a ramble on my part, so please feel free to share your thoughts in the comments down below, and I'll see y'all next time. Also subscribe, that would be nice, can be your good deed for the day toots.